Breaking news on Martin Lucas Investors Channel. We're looking at Hood, ticket symbol, uh, we're looking at Robin Hood, ticket symbol Hood, H O O D. Um, earnings are coming up. Whether you're watching this before the earnings or after the earnings, this will be beneficial. You can see if I got it right or if I got it wrong, or um, even if it's. Um, after you can see what my buy zones and sell zones are for Robin Hood. We're going to be covering it on the medium and short term. Nothing I say during this video is financial advice, of course. So where are we right now with Robin Hood? We're sat at $30.54. This has gone exactly as predicted. Um, this stock, if you look back on it, I said as soon as we break out of $16, I looked to the left. I said, what happened before? What's happened previously of the stock? Well, it broke $33 and in a matter of like five weeks, it crashed very, very quickly. It didn't spend any time between $33 and $16. It came down very quickly. Um, so that normally gives us an in uh, indication of what happens if we break back above $16. It came down very quickly. There's not much trading going on between these levels. Um, people don't like, to, uh, there's, there's no support or resistance previously uh, in this, uh, during these, uh, between these levels. So theoretically, looking to the left, you look to the right and you say, if it breaks out, it should do the same thing going up. And that's what we looked at previously. We looked at this major accumulation. This is what we were looking at during between $7 and $11. All this was buy zones. We broke out and then we broke out of $16. We tested it and now look at us go. It is pumping to the upside. This week alone, it's up 27%. It, it tested at support and we've been going up. We're going straight up to $33 in my opinion. If the earnings go well, we're going up to $33. Um, if, it, if it doesn't go well, I think this $33 level um, will still be in, in, the, in the short, medium term. I think we'll still head up to $33. We might just test it as a resistance um, and then come back down if the earnings have um, were really bad. However, if the earnings are really good, we might just get above $33 and then we, we've, we've got higher targets. We'll finish this, this trade that we've been doing, this trade that came down quickly. It should go up quickly. Earnings are good. We will blast past $33. At least that's our first target. That's been our target of this trade. We've been trading this from $8 and our target is um, $33, at least our first target. And that's a 300% move in less than a year. So that's a great move. That's why I'm still expecting it to go $33. And then it'll be interesting to see what happens next. It's going to be volatile during the earnings. It might be volatile to the upside. It might be volatile to the downside. If it's volatile to the downside, you might see some levels of entry at $23. That might hold at support. And then you're ultimately going to come back and get up to this $33 level, in my opinion. That's the worst case. Um, I mean, worst case, it's a horrific earnings. And then $16 is your buy zone again. However, if it's just a bad earnings, I think you might see a buy zone of $23 and then slowly make your way back up to the $33 completing the trade. If it's a good earnings, um, you at least get up to $33 and then you, you'll see how you react there. Will you come back down? You might do, but if it's a really good earnings, um, then you're, you're going to blast past $33. There might be a few weeks of really irregular trading. Um, but ultimately, I think at some point when you break three, through $33, you're going to come back and test this level. This level, you need to test its support to make sure um, it's going to be a sustained trade. You're going to break through $33. It's going to be volatile during earnings. It's going to be volatile for a few days after earnings. But when reality hits, you might see a retest of $33, giving you confirmation to still stay in the trade or enter the trade at $33. And then you're looking at targets of near all-time highs, you're looking at $60, um, and then e even going all the way up to $84 in, in the medium term. Once you break above $33, you're looking to hold it. And, and again, you can be off to all-time highs. Um, in the coming year. I think um, as soon as you get above that $33, as long as you hold $33, you're going to slowly keep moving up to all, towards all-time highs. There's not major levels of resistance up here. Um, you can try and get some Fibonacci levels to give you some more ideas. For example, you can go all the way from all-time highs all the way to all-time lows, somewhere around there. Um, and then you can give yourself some areas to take profit. First, level before time highs would be $68. 50% retrace would be taking you up to $45. Um, and then we don't need the 382. That's not as a significant level. So yeah, you've got, once you break through $33, look out for $45 and then $68 before you hit all-time highs. But just the short-term trade will be, there's three things that can happen. Let's go into the daily time frame just to show you even clearer. Three things can happen. One, it's a bad earnings. 
you sell off. Even if it's a pretty bad earnings, you'll sell off. If it's a horrific earnings, $16. I'll always have some limit orders set up in case it's a really, really bad earnings, $16. Very, very unlikely. I don't think that's going to happen. Bad earnings. If it's a bad earnings, then buy level set up at $24. You'll close this gap. $24 would be where I'm buying. If it's a good earnings or if it's a mediocre earnings, then you'll probably see this trade complete. You'll probably see us head back to $33. And what happens there is what's going to be interesting. You might That's our first target of our trade. So a lot of people might be taking profits at that level. So you might see it come back down. If it's just a good earnings, if it's not an amazing earnings, then at $33, I'll definitely take some profits there. If it's an amazing earning, if it's a really good earnings, then you'll probably blast through $33 take it back and take it as support over the coming weeks and then continue moving up to our next target of $45. So that's what I think that, that can happen on Robinhood. Um, good luck trading it. Good luck owning it. And remember, nothing I said is financial advice. Um, I hope you win on your trades. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other.